They're coming in. Here's 32 coming on. That's your uh, 16th place card, Dale Jarrett and his Chevy. Uh-oh, Mark tried the outside that time. Ooh, and Culp came in. Yeah. Mark said, uh, let me try that outside one time. Maybe I can run that lap. Chad Little back and forth looks him over, as does Phil Parsons. Five cars in that front cluster. Well, it's showtime. I'm telling you, there's only uh, 19 laps to go, and everybody's going to start dicing around. I think what's going to happen is Mark and Terry are going to shoot it out, because these other three are going to get in a battle of their own, and Mark and Terry's going to get away from them, and they're going to have a, have a two-car race. Third place, Little down to the inside. He's trying to get his car to work on the bottom beneath Derek Cope. Okay, drafting anything here? Oh, yeah, especially when there's two cars like Mark and Terry, and then these other three guys get side by side. They will drive off and leave them in a heartbeat. So Chad Little trying to make his move, and Derek Cope doesn't want to give that spot up. But he needs to get back in single file if they want to try to overwhelm those two leaders. Yeah. Mark Martin gets to uh, three and four really good on the bottom. He really gets a lot of momentum off of turn four, but he can't seem to make the pass. 17 laps to go when they come by this time. That's five race cars right there that are, all of them are, are real close. Uh, Terry's and Mark's and Derek's and Phil's and Chad's, are, they're real closely matched, but uh, it's down to this position, I think. Six cautions for 31 laps, bring the average speed down to 126. And so Sammy Ard's mark from 1983 of 141 is not going to be challenged today. The challenge is all here on the racetrack as Texas Terry Labonte fights it out. Chevy versus Ford at the end of this 300. Well, this is what it's all about. This is what the people come to see. Chevrolet versus Ford. Who's your versus Goodyear? Uh, it's just a... A great day, and Hermie Sadler just got a stop and go for something. I'm not sure what. Goodyear first, second, and third. And who's your back and forth? Let's get the story from Randy on on the Sadler. Uh, he had a flat left front, came in, changed it too fast down pit road. But I just quickly want to make the point of the top ten guys in points. Only Ricky Craven and Chad Little have not suffered problems today. David Green, Kenny Wallace, Dennis Setzer, Larry Pearson, Bobby Dodder, Johnny Benson, and Tracy Leslie have all had their problems, although Kenny Wallace is still moving around out there. Dale Jarrett's gone behind the wall. As he retires, he becomes number 19 out of the race. Oh, Take Derek, a look at uh, the running order here, Daryl. Derek Cope has pulled himself back up in the hunt. Uh, they got single foul, and he got away from Phil and... Uh, Chad back there, and he's pulled himself back in the hunt. 14 to go. Front three, and then an interval of eight to ten car lengths back to fourth spot. Derek Cope runs in third. Parsons in fourth. Chad Little in fifth, a little further back. Cope is closing big time. He's running a little higher line down here in 22, and that's really paying off for him. And still another lap on poor David Green. But Green is running at a pace and staying in 19th. Meanwhile, Craven is up to ninth with the latest retirement. Patrician right now is David Green's best friend. Uh, cars that fall out right now are moving him up. Well, here you see car number 20. That's Hensley running 11. Last guys in the lead lap. Benson is there. And you see also the uh, Jeff Green car, number 76. You know what Jeff that, Green's had a really good day. You know what that 20 and 74 have in common, don't you? They both knocked the fire out of the wall off of turn four, <laughs> and they haven't run very well since. Well, you take a look at Jeff Green driving in place of uh, Pat Davison today. Just behind those leaders. Jeff ran third at Bristol, and when he filled in for, for uh, Uncle Mike. Uncle Mike, yeah. Jeff and uh, David both are excellent race car drivers. They're from Owensboro, Kentucky. We got us a little Owensboro playing here. The two Green boys, me and Michael. And, uh, gosh, Kale's driver right now. Can't, can't call his name. Jeremy Mayfield. He's from Owensboro. So we got us a good little core here right now. It's nice to see those local heroes get that. We know we feel the same way up north about Ricky Craven. Yeah. Joe Bessie and those guys. We used to see run at Thunder Road. Now they're down here making a mark. Randy LaJoy. As we mentioned, the he's not in this 20 today. He's injured. Head injury. 10 to go. And Jimmy Hensley is taking over. He took an awful lick up here, as did Kevin LePage. Yeah. LePage, I believe, has retired the uh, teddy bear car. Yeah, he did. And 
uh, he was on his second car. He used up a car out here on that day when 10 different folks crashed. Well, it's a shootout, folks. 10 to go. We're in the last 10 laps of this 300-mile race, and uh, we've got three bona fide winners right here fighting it out. There's the first. Two Fords against the Chevrolet right now. There's Labonte first, Martin second. Derek Colt right there in third. Don't forget, the NASCAR Showcase coming up right after our broadcast today. Don't forget tomorrow. Yellow Yellow 500 right here on TBS. Wardburg, talk about where they're proud of their racers. South Boston, Virginia, up in there. Virginia has so many great fans. Boy, they're excited about the performance of Mr. Dillard's car in Ward Burton with a new track record at over 100, almost 186 miles an hour. That's fast, D.W. That's right. And who's your shot? Hot is Monte Carlo. Or, uh, <laughs> Lalumen, I guess it is right now, be Monte Carlo next well, you year. You do that Virginia thing very well. Yeah. That old hottest car is running good. <laughs> Take a look at Terry Labonte running real good right now. And Martin trying to gather it up here and take one more stab at pulling this one out of the fire. 192 complete. 193 well, when they come by. Yeah, uh, Mark keeps trying to get, get under Terry. I don't think he can. Uh, I think if Mark gets to racing Terry here, we're going to have Derek Cope all over the back of both of them. So this could be an interesting last lap or two if, uh, if Terry and Mark get to racing each other. I can see three wide down the back on the last lap. 20 car interval, uh, more than that now. It's, it's uh, really developed back to Chad Little. Uh, Phil Parsons. Phil Parsons. Yeah, Phil is kind of falling off the pace. That's a three car shootout right now. You see how much higher Terry's running through the turn than Mark is? That carries a lot of a lot of speed onto the straightaway. Mark's got a quicker line down low, but Terry's carrying more straightaway speed. And it's going to be hard for Mark to get under Terry and pass him. Well, it's see, not. The, see that see the middle of the turn right there how, how Mark kind of closes up but then all of a sudden Terry gets him about four or five car lengths he's just got a little the cars a little freer right there than Mark's is. how much difference is the entrance at three than the entrance into turn one there oh it's totally you see where Mark is right down on the white line and uh, down here in turns one when you go in it's always been a little bit of a bump there where you go into that turn and uh, it upsets the car a little bit more than it does in three five to go five to go this is gonna be a good one folks Got your money out? Lay it down. Let's uh, call it. Uh, uh. Watch that stuff. Watch that stuff. <laughs> Man. Happy hour coming up for Darrell Waltrip. And his happy hour, race folks know, is a little different than most people's happy hour. Yeah, we get an hour of practice. We get to get out here and get our cars ready for the race tomorrow. And the track will be totally different than it's been any time since we've been here. Whoa, Chad, a little high around. Mm -hmm. Phil Parsons back in there. I think Phil's off the pace. Yeah, Chad Little's just moved around. Phil Parsons and taken over in fourth. Phil backing up a bit here. Don't want to go away from this one, folks, as Terry Labonte strives to take another Grand National victory. Mark Martin staying right with him as we get to the final moments. Two wins already this year for Terry at Rockingham and at Watkins Glen. And, of course, you know the Mark Martin story. Won everything. If there's going to be a pass, it's got to be in turns three and four. And look at Phil Parsons in trouble, final moments. Yeah, something happened here with three or four laps ago. That's, that's sad. I run hard all day. You use up your car, you use up your tires. You spend as much money as the guy wins the race, but you don't get any results. But he gave us a great show for a long time, and perhaps some car owners won't forget. The oh, God. In trouble. And he catches the 92. Pearson's car caught up. This is going to end this race at 197. They'll race back to the line, and as they come, you can give this victory to Terry Labonte. Right. Give second place to Mark Martin and Colt in third. Something to miss with Parsons. It came up. It caught Larry Pearson, and that's how it's going to end this afternoon in the All-Pro Bumper to Bumper 300. we got to see that one again, Daryl. Yeah, I do. Oh, Phil, that's too bad. Phil was back enough. Something breaks on it. blew it a tire. Broke. Yeah, it blew a right front tire. You see the rubber flying up over the front fender over there. He blew a right front tire and just caught that 92 car in the process. Well, and after all you had just said about trying so hard, yeah. running so well. I mean, here we are, And the folks. frustration. And again, it's the frustration for Phil Parsons. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Two laps to go, and, uh, you know, you come home in fourth place, and that's a decent payday for a guy like that. He's an independent guy, and that's his car. He and his wife own that together, and uh, that's a heartbreak. He had just fallen to fifth. Bound had just moved around, and they're going to end. The white flag is about to be thrown out. Here's Parsons out, and the good news is he's okay. And the bad news is that that car, at least the front clip is gone, and it yeah. can be more. And Larry Pearson looks to be all right. There's the white. And it's all over but the shouting this afternoon on this one for Terry Labonte to take his third Grand National win of the season and stop the domination of Mark Martin's Ford. It's a Chevy victory in the 300. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, huh? And I got to race that guy tomorrow. Well, I got to race the guy behind him. But as a matter of fact, I got to race all those guys tomorrow. Woo. Yeah, and when you do, you got all those kids as we speak of tomorrow. <laughs> those kids are all up in front at 1 o'clock when they drop this one. Are they going to be the veterans? Is it going to be the savvy guys? Or are these youngsters going to be a little patient and uh, give, you, give you some woe? Yeah, the, well, of course, tomorrow's a Mella Yellow 500. It's not a 300-mile race. And I think attrition is going to be a factor tomorrow. I think uh, if it stays overcast, this is a much different racetrack, as we said in the opening, and it is if the sun's out. So you get up in the morning, you peek out the curtain, and hope the sun isn't shining. You don't want it to rain, but you don't want the sun shining either. Because if it does, you get so much stick, so much grip, a lot of you are going to find your way into the wall. Yeah, and that, well, that sunshine, it just draws the surface. It draws the oil out of that new asphalt, and it makes it get So split. how do you go? That's what folks wonder. I mean, how can a guy get you ready to go out here and run 190 down into turn one tomorrow? And Hug that pillow and have an act to it. It's just the thrill of it all. You know, just being here, being a part of this show, that's all. It just makes everything worthwhile. Coming down for I a checkered flag. I could get flight. someone to drive my car tomorrow and yeah. come up here and join you. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure I could work that out. Well, I, I hate to tell you this, but uh, Cale Yarborough has volunteered his services tomorrow. To You'll you. never understand a word man says. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Labonte has just won the All-Pro Bumper to Bumper 300. Walter continues to make friends with everybody here today. <laughs> and we'll be back to meet the champion in this race. What a great job by Terry Labonte.